Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to talk about the undead starting area in Tiras Fall Glades uh, 1 to level 6 and just kind of the fastest route you can take and try and get ahead of the pack. The undead starting area is pretty unique in terms of the rest of the starting areas as where things are set up and you know uh, the layout of the place is a little bit different. So that being said, we're going to get started with the first quest where we're killing zombies. We need to kill eight mindless zombies and eight wretched zombies. The great thing about this quest is it's just a kill quest. We don't need to collect anything like a lot of the other starting areas. So definitely feel free to group up. Uh, it will cut down on your XP that you get. However, it will allow you to finish this quest if there's a lot of um, a lot of people in the area. The one thing that is kind of annoying about the undead starting area is a lot of the first quests are kind of grouped together in this small little uh, village. So where other starting areas kind of already, you know, after you finish the first quest and so on, they start sending you a little bit further out into the zone. Um, the issue here is that uh, you obviously don't have that luxury. so. Right after killing these, you're going to have other quests that are in this same area. So you're just going to have to know that the undead starting area, while it's not probably as busy as Duratar, since there's two races that start there, um, the undead starting area will be busy at launch. So anything you can do to cut down on your your kill time and um, your your leveling speed, you know, speeding up your leveling speed will definitely help you out. So as you can see, we're now finished with this quest and we start moving back to the, to turn in this quest. Now, as a mage, anytime you are just running at, between quests, anytime you can dump your mana on a mob really quickly and just kill it, uh, it can be very useful. Uh, as mana regeneration is pretty fast, uh, if you're running somewhere, it's, it's nice to just stop and kill something. So as you can see, we've finished that first quest and now we're working on the scavenger paws and the wings from the dusk bats. Now this quest um, is a collection quest, so it's going to be more challenging to do in a group. So if you're still grouped from the last quest, I would recommend uh, dropping the group. And if you are with a friend that's playing, maybe one of you go to the east and one of you go to the west. Um, there are dusk bats and wolves throughout the entire starting zone outside of the village. so. There's plenty of them. The competition shouldn't be as bad here if you were able to quickly get through that first quest. So one thing that's very important to do while leveling, especially at the beginning of the game, is always try and move in a positive direction. By positive, I mean towards your next goal. So whether it be another mob or a new questing area, you always want to be moving. It can be more challenging with a caster class, but one thing that you can do, especially at the lower levels, is if you're still regenerating mana, uh, you can always run further away from the mob uh, it's a little bit hard to explain. So instead of just attacking the mob, you would actually run past the mob towards the area that you are wanting to go. And in that um, moment, you're actually accomplishing two things. You're allowing more mana regeneration and you're moving in a positive direction towards you know the next mob or towards the area that you need to go. This will cut down on drinking a little bit and also save you time in terms of traveling. So that's one tip that I can tell you. Uh, the other thing is about these these uh, skeleton guys is remember, on any kind of quest that it's just a uh, straight kill quest and you don't need to uh, pick up anything, you definitely are better off just joining up with other people. There's going to be a lot of competition for these skeletons as there's not a whole lot of spawns for them and everyone's going to be doing this quest. So grouping up is always a good idea for these quests. Now, as you can see, we're almost done. So when we get closer to the end of these quests, uh, if we have the choices of extra mobs in the area as we run back, we can always kill a few uh, when we have full mana. It's just a little bit of um, extra XP and it'll help us out. Okay, remember, every time we go back to a village, we want to be selling, uh, keeping our inventory space clear because in Classic WoW, getting bags is uh, pretty challenging and you oftentimes only have your backpack for a good amount of your levels uh, in the starting area. So as you can see, we're picking up more quests here. Uh, these quests are going to have us picking up scavenge goods. Then we need to deal with uh, Samuel Phillips' remains and we also need to deal with uh, spiders. So as you can see, I'm just making my way around uh, collecting all these scavenged goods. Uh, there are 
set spawn spots, but then obviously some could be taken. So you might have to do a little searching, um, but they're oftentimes in the, in the buildings and out front of the buildings. So obviously, like I've said before, anytime you have full mana on a caster class um, or you're near something on a melee class, you can always just go ahead and use that time to, to kill it and get a little bit of extra XP. All right, so now we're making our way down to Samuel Phillips. This again is a quest that if there's anyone in the area, make sure you invite. It's just uh, very, very important. Uh, it'll save you time and it'll save other people the hassle of having to sit around and wait for a respawn. So it's just kind of a polite thing to do. So now at this point, we're making our way over to spiders. Uh, we'll be killing those for the next portion of the quests that we have. Now the friendly spiders, or I should say the neutral spiders, they're outside of the cave. Uh, to get to the other spiders that are actually hostile to you, those are inside the cave. And even though this is a starting area, um, you really need to watch out. Those spiders do um, quite a bit of damage. And if you are a caster class that doesn't have much mana uh, and you go oom um in there, it can kind of spell disaster for you. So make sure you take that into account and you just know that going into the cave. So one tip that I can give you right now is on a caster class, you can see that I actually kill uh, three mobs before I really start looting. I, I kill two and a half and then I run out of mana. So I loot the others while my mana regens. And you can kind of play around your mana as a caster class at this low of a level because of your mana regeneration. So you always want to be uh, taking full use of that and making sure you kind of know about how many frost bolts or fireballs, um, shadow bolts, those kind of things you can cast before you actually go out of mana. All these little things are going to just save you time in the end, which obviously will be very helpful to getting out of the starting area uh, quicker than the rest of the, the players. Um, again, when, anytime you're traveling between areas uh, and you're not killing anything, make sure you take that time to set up hotkeys and pull things down to your action bar. Uh, you want to just get ahead of the pack, obviously at the start, um, because it's going to be a lot easier for you to quest um, from 6 to 12 in the next area. So one thing to note here, again, on these spiders, it's just a kill quest. So the great thing about the undead area is a lot of these quests are kill quests. And so this will allow you to, you know, party up and just get those things done with faster. So as, as you can see, I'm done with the quest now and I go ahead and kill myself so then I can get back to death now. Remember, you picked up uh, Samuel's remains, so just bury them right at the graveyard and you're able to turn both those in. Uh, obviously sell up, uh, train you, if you hadn't already trained before. Uh, and one thing you, you do need to realize is that the starting area for undead will be crowded and it is uh, a somewhat um, packed area. So if you do group up for these quests, you're going to uh, lose out on some experience. It's going to, you'll be leveling faster since you're in a group, but you will miss out on some experience. So you might have to grind a little bit to, to catch up or, uh, you know, kill things as you move around with, with a group. So just take that in into consideration. All right. So now we're moving on to the Scarlet Crusade quest where we just need to get armbands from the Scarlet, uh, Scarlet NPCs. So just make sure again, this is a, a a collection quest so if you are in a group it's going to take you just that much longer i'm not saying that's a bad thing you'll probably be able to tag mobs easier uh, with multiple people obviously however that is just one thing to consider if you're able to do this solo make sure you do now at this point you can see again my taking advantage of my mana and go ahead and kill multiple mobs at once so then you can see i use my last frostbolt, kill them, and then I loot. And by then I've already regened a little bit of mana that I can go ahead and create some more water. Uh, just basically utilizing your time to the best of your ability while you're leveling up. I know it can sound kind of uh, a little overkill, but just doing these small things to help you level a little bit faster will help you get outside of the starting area. Uh, and I know some people say, uh, I'm just gonna be casual and have fun and enjoy myself. But the good thing about getting outside of the starting area earlier is you're able to have a little bit more fun. It's no fun having to just wait uh, and sit there for a mob tag. Okay, now you see that I uh, went ahead and let myself die. Again, 
using those uh, strategic deaths will help save you, you know, 30, 40 seconds of running back. Um, and this allows me to turn in the quest, sell some stuff, and then head right back out for the second portion of that quest. So as you can see, still even though uh, I don't need to kill these mobs, I'm always just killing anything in my path uh, as it's allowing me to get more uh, XP. Again, kill this guy and go ahead and die. Um, a lot of spirit resing. Your items um, may be you know, broken at this point, but it's not that big of a deal because in the next uh, few levels, we will be picking up so many item upgrades that we'll be just uh, equipping those and the durability won't really matter. So as you can see, we are now moving towards our next zone. Uh, it took me 31 minutes here to complete this. That is under perfect situation. Now, obviously, it'll take a little bit longer come, come launch as you're going to have to worry about all those other people around you. All right, guys, that concludes the one to six starting area for undead in death now. Uh, hope that was helpful. If you want to know how to level past this point uh, and some good guides, definitely check out Joanna. Uh, that's the guide I use when I'm leveling. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.